Why would Walmart ink this deal with Symbotic? And what do you think it says about Walmart's approach to delivery? Yeah, so um, this is actually, it's great because it's like the only grocery topic we have almost a grocery adjacent and it's still not quite there today. So I'll do my- Right, best. right, right. <laughs> Um, and I do have to just before I start, give a shout out to my brother, David, who works for a company called Auto Store, who are also in the robotics space. So I was able to get a good insight from him last night on on the kind of the information on this deal. So that's super helpful for me. Um, Competitive intelligence. I yeah, love it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, love I'll try it. and be careful about what I share. Right. He, he was a little yeah. on the gossip side of things, but I'll try and keep it factual here. Right. But <laughs> um, but I do think generally speaking, if you look at it, first of all, from like the industry lens, like yeah. Walmart, one of their key kind of accelerants enablers over the last number of years has been this focus on technology. So throughout their organization, they're super focused on technology. They've they already have an existing deal with Symbotic on like large scale uh, DCs and automation of their DCs, which has been successful. Yep. And the way I would kind of uh, position that is Symbotic have been pushed very hard by Walmart to improve and up their game, which has then driven Symbotic's growth over the course of that time. If you take this as a separate piece, then this is a little bit more focused on their, what I think used to be called MFCs, but people have slightly yep. moved away from the term MFCs, I think, because there's been some difficulties in getting that off the ground. And so maybe not to get into too much detail, but Walmart acquired Alert a number of years ago to bring yep. them in to do this work. And now they're effectively spinning that work back out to Symbotic. And so the way I would read that is they brought it in-house maybe found that it was more complicated than they expected to make this work with their own internal capabilities and because it's a complicated process. And what they're really doing is, I think, doubling down on automation as a key pillar for their growth by going right. to an industry leader in the space and saying to them, we want you to recreate the success you've had on large scale distribution centers to MFCs. And because it's obviously a key pillar for what they want to do, particularly using their stores as fulfillment nodes. Mm -hmm. Right. And they haven't quite got that off the ground in the way that everybody was expecting. And I think that it the structure of the deal is also very interesting. So it's being quoted as symbolic have bought it for $200 million. Right. But when you go below the surface, Walmart are going to pay them 500 million. There's 230 million guaranteed at closing. There's a hundred stores that they're guaranteed. So it's a very low risk deal for Symbotic that I think will hopefully clean up some potential issues that Walmart have had internally. Um, and for me, it's kind of another example of Walmart betting on innovation to continue to grow their performance. Because, I mean, Chris, I know you're a big fan of Doug McMillan, but it has been a huge success over the last number of years of how much they've grown. And I think this is just another signal of them continuing to double down on, on what they've seen work so far.